There she is, lovies. Happiness on a 12 by 12. <laughs> this is just, oh, so, so good. So yummy good. So everything good. Oh, oh my goodness. So um, <clears throat> I saw this idea, I think on Pinterest or something. And I thought, hmm, I like that. I'm going to give it a try. Um, and at first I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a hot mess. But then it came together. I just love it. So um, I have vintage, I used mainly like vintage uh, from the vintage ledger collage pack in the background. And then this cutie here, this gorgeous turquoise bird. Oh, there's a new collage pack in the shop. It's six pages of just goodness. Look at the diagram of the birds. Oh, love it, love it, love, love, love. So six pages of this. And um, this guy goes in there too. Let's see. So I used a lot. I did a lot of palette knife work, palette knife work. I'm really trying to work on my skills for palette knife work. I used two palette knives. Um, and I just layered and kept layering and kept layering until it felt right, until the colors felt right. And then um, I initially did the outline with paint, and then I came back with my Senlier oil pastels, which I am loving. I'm learning how to use their whole different medium than anything I've ever used. But you can't get this look, this so it's this soft, creamy feel from anything else. So I just love that. I used my flower drawing stencil in the middle here because I didn't want to, the papers are peeking through so beautifully. I wanted some interest in there, but not so much that it took away from anything. So when I put, when I stenciled it down, I wiped it back and it was perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, I think, oh, I, and I, the paints that I used <clears throat> are Deco Arts um, Americana Premium paints. And they are a thicker quality paint, like an oil paint. And I used the extender with it. I have not used this before. I don't know where it is. Here it is. Um, but it's still wet on my palette, and that's hours later. And um, what it does is it makes your paints react like oils, and it makes them blendable. That, that kind of blendability that you get. Um, and I can <clears throat> dry between layers and then put more on, more blendability. Love it. Worked awesome. Um, and the thickness of the paint is really great because when you're working with a palette knife, the, you, you guys can't see the depth of this, but oh, it is delicious. So um, that's kind of, I think that's all I used for this piece. I mean, it was simple. And yet not simple because when it first when I first started it was kind of a hot mess. But I kept layering till I got the colors right and it felt felt good. Ooh, I love it. Oh, there's a pup. Um, so um, this says hope. And I was reading this last week, I think from Brain Brown's book. And I don't remember which one because I have them all and I read them. They're on my nightstand and I just kind of, at the end of the night, will pick it up and kind of just get some goodness before I go to bed. And um, two words stuck out at me as I was reading, or three, offer up hope. And I'm like, oh man, you know, I say a little prayer before I go to bed. I'm like, Lord, please let me offer up hope every day to someone, to somebody. Um, and then I thought, what if... What if people aren't feeling great and need hope themselves? And so I really kind of slept on it and thought about it. And um, in my life, um, there are always seasons where I am hopeful and I'm in a good place. And then there are times when there are the dark days. And you've heard me talk about the dark days before where I feel hopeless. And um, sometimes the holidays, especially the holidays, can bring in that hopeless feeling, that alone feeling. It brings up a lot of emotions around relationships and all kinds of stuff. And so there's all kinds of things at play, especially during the holidays. And so I just wanted to remind you that there is hope, uh, that you won't always be in the place that you're at. And... 
to change when you're feeling hopeless. This has worked in my own life um, over and over and over again. That when I'm feeling the, the, the least um, happy and feeling hopeless, that um, I will tell my story, I will connect with others, and I will offer up hope to others. Even if I'm not feeling it and I'm thinking, are you kidding me? <laughs> I got nothing to give. But when we, when we do those three things, when I do those three things, it changes. It changes your attitude. Uh, when you connect and tell your story, somebody else doesn't feel alone. Because, you know, when you're in that place, you feel like you're the only one who's dealing with this or feeling this way or feeling these emotions. And that's just not true. We all have been there, and maybe not at the same exact time, but we've all felt that feeling. And when we connect and share our story and share where we're at, we encourage others to be vulnerable and honest and share their emotion too. And this is part of mental health stuff too. You know, when we are so disconnected from from you know other people, that it just is a it's a spiral down. And we don't we when we don't connect, it only furthers that hopelessness. So, when you're feeling hopeless. If you would try those three things, connect, tell your story, and offer hope to others, it will change your world. It will rock your world when you see how, how much it will change your physical state <clears throat> when those three things happen. If you're in a good place and you're feeling hopeful and life is good or better, <clears throat> That is your opportunity to offer hope to everyone that you can, to the bank teller, to someone you meet on the street that's having a hard day, to your family, to a neighbor, to whomever. That's your opportunity, again, to share and connect and offer hope. It, it does such a wonderful thing for the soul. When we are vulnerable and connect with others, it changes things. It changes things. So, my friends, I hope that you are hopeful that wherever you are, that if you're feeling stuck, that you won't stay there. It's nothing is forever. The only thing that's constant is change. And so, share your story. Connect with others. Share it with me if you need to. Um, I get to hear your stories all the time, and I am honored and grateful for that. And I try to encourage and uplift as often as I can. But share your story and connect with others and, it will, and, it, and hope will happen. Um, an attitude shift will, will come. I promise, I promise, I promise. All right, loves, I hope your Sunday is awesome and restful. And I hope that you always, always know that you are loved. Mm -hmm.